Yo yo. Yo yo yo. What's up, folks? Uh, it's been probably. I have no idea how long since I've actually live streamed on YouTube. But I think I might start doing it here more often. So expect to see me a lot. Just kind of hanging out, showing you kind of my workflow and how it looks and everything. But yeah, so today um, I have a wedding that I need to call down and then start editing. Obviously, it's wedding season. So if you don't stay on top of this stuff, you get backed up mad quick. <laughs> So um, I'm going to be using Photo Mechanic to call my wedding and then we'll jump into Lightroom and edit it from there. I have to call my stuff and I have to call the stuff from the second photographer. So yeah, if you all have any Photo Mechanic questions or anything while I'm going through it, just let me know. And yeah, we're just going to we're just going to jump in here and get it done. Get her done. Let's see. So let's start. Let's start with my second photographer's stuff. Go ahead and call that and get it out of the way. Since it's probably gonna be less photos anyway. Yeah, because it's definitely going to be less stuff that I'm going to actually use. It's not bad, though, on the same end. All right. So usually when I go through and call, I'm just going to jump through and hit five on the keyboard so I can five star my photos and then I sync that back to Lightroom. And then by doing that, I can sort my stuff by how many stars they have. And if you haven't used Photo Mechanic, it is like blazing fast. I used to call in Lightroom and it was like the most sad and painful experience. <laughs> it just like, it took forever. It was so slow. I think I took one of these myself, but I guess I'll, I'll throw it in there just in case, I guess. Just to have it, I'm probably gonna have to go back and like uncall the stuff that I called from her. Mainly cause me doing it like this, I'm just gonna be grabbing like whatever. Yeah, I'm not a fan of how this Sony stuff looks at all. Like it's, that's too, it's too much. It's too much. I try my best to quickly call, but sometimes I like have a bad habit of just sitting in here, going through like two photos and being like, maybe this one, maybe that one, maybe this one, maybe that one. Looks like the focus is off on that one.
So this is our lovely first look. Most of this stuff I like my own perspective a little bit better. So there's not really a big reason to cull it. Yeah, these are basically like the same shots I look at. Look at me. Wow, I look amazing. Look at that dance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. I look so beautimous. <laughs> Yeah, this is pretty good second second coverage. Cause basically at the ceremony I usually sit in the middle, so I'm shooting everything like dead center, straightforward. You can get your second photographer to get all those extra angles. Good stuff. Got a couple cocktail hour shots. Got some decent group shots. Look at that compression <laughs> between zooming in and not. It's like such the biggest difference. Um, I'll take this one. So I have most of this on my own end. Um, that one's okay.
So I usually shoot my reception stuff with a 28 mil or the Fuji 14. Uh, so trying to pick up some of her shots because they look very different than my own stuff since she's shooting like with her 70 to 200. I'm getting like a totally different look. It's a little bit too tight. I'm not a huge fan of everything being like so tight. Um, I used to shoot kind of like this, but it, I feel like it works better when you shoot a bit wider. Depending on what you're going for though. There's me again, hooray. Um, I'm pretty sure I took that shot too. That's pretty good. Some of that conga line action. Why I got that stink look on my face? <laughs> we'll keep that one in there. That's right, we haven't even gotten to the speeches yet. I totally even forgot that was in there. Oh yeah, the normal wedding day stuff. Speeches and things, don't forget about that. What's this? Yeah, most of this stuff I have on my end. Father daughter dance. What's her arm doing? This one's better. That's it. Okay. So that was the second shooter's shot. So now we can go through mine.
did it load it oh, okay i'm like these are the same photos this ain't my stuff here we go all right now let's call through my stuff so same process yet again start out with double clicking and then from there you can just hit five to start your stuff the next step comes afterwards when we jump back into lightroom and i can also rotate my pictures in here So I can have them already rotated and ready for me when I go back in the Lightroom. Some classic Thai stuff. Got all the groomsmen making sure he looks good. Caught him in his feels, which is always good. Then we had groomsmen gifts. Then they all put on their ties. Then I was able to jump in and do some makeup stuff. Got the rings. This was his uh, groom's gift.
I have my music way too loud. I hope y'all can hear me. like shooting the dress at angles like that I've seen people do it a couple times like most people will throw it up on the side of a wall or something and shoot it from the side like that I don't know man I can't do it I just I can't I can't do it this was her second dress Makeup touch ups. gifts First look with dad. So this is the other angle from obviously what my second was shooting at. Those shots didn't really work out the way I wanted them to. Them walking together is pretty cute. It's cool, cool stuff.
Then we have our group shots. goodness Tuesdays are like my most annoying day because I have these uh the landscaper dudes outside just be going at it all day and it's like I can't even I can't even think about my life all I hear all day is just like bang, 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 bang. and I'm like no make it stop please make it stop <laughs> well, yeah, I think I ended up taking family shots like two or three different times. dark and moody action going. Got these ceremony details. So they had that uh, unplugged ceremony, but they basically just straight up, everybody had cameras. take it. combine these I did okay so that was it wasn't technically it's really not a Brenizer I just sometimes will merge the photos 
Which, due to ceremony, honestly, is a little pointless, but it's kind of cool because it gives some depth and whiteness to the whole scene. So, I mean, I, I do it sometimes, but it really isn't necessary. Like, it really isn't necessary at all, but whatever. <laughs> I just like it, okay? I like to do what I do. Then they had a lay ceremony. More of the lay ceremony. I think I'm gonna try and start doing continuous focus when I'm walking back. I'm missing a lot of those shots, which is not not a good time. Yeah, I feel like continuous focus would have made a little bit more sense. This is granddad and grandma. group shot <laughs> like super silly <laughs> So this was like, honestly, the most lucky part of the day. So it had been raining like off and on the whole wedding day. And then finally it got to a place where like, it was only drizzling. 
So I was like, hey guys, like, do you want to go outside? Seriously, it's only drizzle. We'll, uh, you know, get an umbrella. It'll be cool. And they were like, yeah, we'll do it. And we went outside and it like stopped raining. Um, and it was, it was so awesome that it like actually stopped. And we were just like, yeah. <laughs> so it ended up like really working out. Which was lucky because I was I was thinking that we weren't gonna get any like outdoor shots at all and it was gonna just suck, but it worked out. This dude even took his shoes off. Here goes another Brenizer. Oh, you know what? Here's the finished one. That's what we want. Well, you know what? I'll, let me five star that one too in case I wanna like do it differently. They're both dancers, so they're like, do, could we do a dip? And I was like, I mean, yeah. Because obviously y'all know how to do it already. <laughs> you know, like, I don't need to tell you how to do dips. Y'all are in there, in the zone. Cake shots. Pretty straightforward. There's the MC of the night, which this dude was pretty cool. Not only did he have a dope mustache, but he like, he, um, he could dance and stuff too. So he was like dancing with the guests. And I was like, oh man, how cool are you? No.
Yeah, so since they were dancers, obviously there was a lot of a lot of dancing. throughout the night. Also, there were Uncle Bob's everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Look at that, look. There you got everybody watching. Dips are always like the hardest because since I shoot prime, I'll just be like shooting. You never know when they're gonna come up. And I swear every time it happens, I always have my, uh, I don't have my wide on. So I'm always like, damn. I missed the moment. The hardest part of this now is going to be not um, calling too many dance photos. <laughs> Since like the majority of the night is all dancing photos, it's just gonna be like so much. So I gotta, I gotta make sure I take my time while I call it basically. Cause if not, I'm gonna be here all day just like dancing photos, dancing photos, dancing photos. I guess I should go sparingly depending on like the part of the day or whatever. Maybe. I wonder if this is savable. I might try it. We did table shots.
your standard point at the camera. <laughs> Then they hit a conga line. Let me actually, is there a link to my live stream? Share it with some of my Facebook folks. So after this, it's going to be speeches at some point, I think. So much dancing, everyone was so good. I'm about to go, about to go take some dance classes myself. Look, this dude was playing the bongos and singing. How cool can you get? Yeah, okay, so now we have speeches.
<laughs> so I usually like to uh I usually like to overcall and then basically go back and you know like pull back if it's too much because it makes more sense to overcall while I'm in while I'm in photo mechanic and it's going to be fast versus having to call more in Lightroom because Lightroom is pretty slow. It just, yeah, Lightroom just really isn't. <sighs> Unfortunately. Because I actually, I did a class on like the best way to get like the fastest results out of Lightroom and calling, but like it was janky. Oh my goodness. These people outside, I can't. It's just so loud. I can't even think. I just want to live. I just want to live my life. <laughs> Instead of hearing a leaf blower outside. Oh, I'm actually almost at the end of the night. Why is she peering over like that? She's like, my dude, what are y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> Is that really when I stopped? I guess so. Cool. Okay, so there's Phone of Mechanic. We did it. Called a whole wedding and my second shooter's photos in an hour. Less than an hour. Basically an hour, though. Um, so now that all that stuff is cold, I can close this out. I'm going to go back in Lightroom. Select everything. Go to metadata. Go to read metadata from files. So now it's going to read the metadata from the files. And basically, you're going to see all the stars come through now. So you see how that's all showing up there. So it's going to take a moment and do that. And then all my calling will come through. Which only takes a short moment. I mean, this is about 6,000 files all together. So I'm curious to see how much I actually called. Probably more than usual. I always hate waiting for stuff like this. It just feels like, okay. Okay, go ahead and finish it up, Lightroom. Once this comes through with all the photos I tagged, then I usually separate all my photos into sections. 
So I'm a, I'm a huge believer of not like doing a bulk load of work at one time, but separating it so that you can have small wins or whatever. So what I like to do is I'll break the wedding down into sections of the day so that when I'm editing, instead of being like, oh my goodness, I have like 3000 photos to edit. It's more like, oh, I have 60 here and then I have 80 there. Um, and I have a hundred there and so when I sit down at work I can edit like 60 photos and be like cool I finished like one section or I finished two sections and then upload it so it goes a lot faster and it just feels better for me like I don't feel as stressed when I'm going through and actually editing the photos so pretty cool stuff Boo, 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 boo. Okay. So we're done. And now we can start sectioning off our stuff. So let's see. Under attribute, you can pick five stars. So now I can see how many photos I have all together. Looks like I flagged about 700 photos. 697, which is pretty average for me. Usually my couples are getting around 650 photos, give or take. So that's that's pretty normal. Pretty normal. So now what we can do is in the smart collections, first off, I'm just gonna delete, I don't know what that is, I'm gonna delete that. So let's make a collection set, call it weddings. Then I'll make another collection set and this will be Stephanie and Mike. Then under that collection set, I can make a smart collection and I'll call this flagged photos, even though they're not flagged. So it's kind of a old habit of mine. I used to flag the photos, but I don't really flag them anymore. So. So rating is five stars, source, folder, contains all, Stephanie, and Mike. And so that should pull in all those photos that are flagged. So now I have this little section here that I can basically come to and see everything that was called. And then after that, what I like to do Let's break it into sections. So I add text to create each of my sections. So I'll start up here and I'm just gonna put this as the groom stuff. So all this here up until here is groom getting ready. And then I can go ahead and make a new smart collection. Call it groom getting ready and then add text uh, where is it label text is groom getting ready and so so far there's probably some more photos but so far I have 62 photos now so like I was saying before when I go and edit now it's not like oh I have so many photos it's like cool 62 photos real quick finish that up and then that whole section's done and I can upload it. And it makes stopping when I need to stop like more realistic. Um, I'll put the rest of this as groom getting ready too. Yeah. So it's groom getting ready. So now because I made a smart album it's gonna automatically pull the photos because it meets the conditions that I made for it. So it's pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool and easy to go. Yo, what is wrong with my iTunes? It hates me right now. Just play the music. Just play the music. All right, so this right here would be bride getting ready.
we'll go ahead and create our smart collection. Pride getting ready. So one photo, obviously, because I only did the one. But then now that I have my section, I can go through. I'll grab all of this. And so now it's up to 16. This will be part of Grim getting ready. And then more Bride getting ready. And so I guess I'll I'll make them separate. Okay, so we'll this is all first look. Then I can make my section again. First look. First look. And I know this like this takes time sometimes and some people are like, whoa, it's not fast for editing, but it like makes the stress of editing so much quicker for me. And it also keeps it in sections. So when you're just looking at that one section, you're gonna edit it way quicker anyway. So it just it makes more sense to me to like separate it all out like this first. You know set the stage for your your workspace or whatever you want to say um i'll just call this couple portraits and then we'll go ahead and make our couple portrait smart collection Do, 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 do. We'll call this group portraits. And then we'll make our group portraits. And then more couple portraits. This stuff here will be details. And then let's make our details section. all ceremony yeah we'll go we'll go up to here oh I didn't hold shift ceremony We'll make our smart collection ceremony. This is more group portraits. No, I'm not going to make a whole section for cocktail hour for like six photos. We'll just put this in details. Uh, and then more couple portraits.
details. Yeah, this is details as well. Oops. Details. I'm just going to call this all reception. And then we'll make our section for reception. First dance. First dance. And then more reception. We'll put these all under group shots. This is details. More reception. This will be speeches. Then we'll make our speeches section. Uh, I'll put this on the parent dances, I guess. They only did the one. That should be fine though. Parent dance, we'll make that section as well. And then the rest is reception. We got cake cut right here. Cake cut. Make our cake cut section. And then yeah, reception and that's it. Cool. So now that we went through and actually got everything prepped and ready now I can sit back and go ahead and edit all my stuff and not be overwhelmed so for instance like cake cut is six photos so I can literally just come in here real quick and knock this out and get it out of the way rather than stressing on anything So I went ahead and hit the picture with my secret sauce. Okay, you know, you gotta, you gotta develop your own preset, which makes editing your photos like much more of a breeze. Cause yet again, with wedding photography, you're dealing with a lot of photos and things pretty often. So it's a little bit easier if you have a preset rather than trying to edit every photo in its own way. Create yourself a preset and work 
from there so you can speed things up. This was not me. Was this my second? Yeah. Yeah, these these Sony files sometimes <laughs> they be looking quite fresh. So let me Get another photo to compare it with to make sure they're looking about the same. And a whole section's done, hooray! <laughs> uh, what else is small at the parent dance? It's like 11 photos. Go ahead and knock that out real quick. Let me start separating cameras too. So I don't get them mixed up. <laughs> so I always start by throwing my secret sauce on it. And I go from there with fixing exposure and white balance and all that stuff, which I think I like where this is for the most part. Maybe pull back those oranges just a bit. And most of these are basically the same scene. So you just copy your settings and Paste it right across. And then I go back in, just kind of make sure everything looks good. And then since this one's a little bit different, I'll edit it separately. And it's basically the same for these shots. So we can paste across that. Actually don't I don't like that picture okay cool and then I'll go back and hit this Sony stuff so the harder part about when you have a second especially when they shoot a different camera system than you is matching the photos so what I'll do is get this if I like it and then I need to compare it to another photo
try and match them as best as possible and then I can copy out from there. And then again, just jump in here and make sure these look good. There. So that's a whole nother section finished. The rest of the sections are a little bit bigger, but that's what I usually do is I'll either go through the smaller sections first or I'll hit like a big section and then basically I will kind of just keep going from there. So like first look is smaller. So like that's a good section to kind of jump in. Like it's not super small, but it's also not huge. And I got my white balance pretty much on set, so like I can pretty much just come in here and paste the settings straight across. Yeah, so like, that looks good. And so I'll just take that. Paste it across this whole section right here. And yeah, that's basically good to go. If anything, I'm thinking maybe I'll warm it up a little bit. And then again, I can just paste it across. And jump in here and make sure it looks cool. I've been trying to edit out the veins in his head a little bit. I don't know if it's really necessary though. I mean, I feel like it looks nice, right? Or am I just being extra? I mean, I don't know, it looks, I think it looks good. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. It's not really being extra, and it's not a lot to edit anyway, so. May as well do it. Get his head looking nice and smooth.
Really light room. And so that's like, I quickly did what like, eight or nine photos and that's why I like doing the sections like this because it just it lines it up easier it's quick um, I'm gonna make this one black and white actually I might be able to okay hold up I think it's a little too much. To... Not exposure. And then we can copy it again, but this time we will copy exposure. And I'm gonna paste it on these because these were also with the 56. Yeah, sometimes I don't I don't even know if this is worth it. Like I'm gonna do it anyway because I feel compelled to, but So yeah, sometimes it's a little much, but I don't know. I'd rather take the time to do stuff like this. Oops. For my couples. If it like, if it's something that stands out to me. You know, if it's enough for me to be like, oh, maybe I want to take it out, then may as well just do it. So like here, it's not really that bad. I'll do it anyway again, but really light room. Light room is so lost all the time. Or like here in the front, clean that up a little bit. I guess he cut himself, I don't know what that is. There we go. That's nice. Yeah, it was raining off and on, so it was a rough day, but we got through it. Black and white this one as well.
cool. So now I only have my wide shots. And then my second shooter shots. And then this whole section will be done. And yet again, it's the whole small wins mentality. Because then what happens is I can sit down and be like, oh yeah, I finished like four sections. And while it might not seem like a whole bunch, you know, I quick, quickly just edit it like 80-ish photos or something. So I'm a big fan of the small wins mentality. Make a black and white of this as well. So now let's hit these wide photos. And then I can copy that over to the rest of them. And then we go through and clean it up basically. So I think the first two were basically the same photo, so I gotta figure out which one I wanna keep. They're basically the same, I'll keep the second one. All right, so there goes most of this whole section. And then now we have this stuff from the Sony. So let's try and match it up. For the most part. Oh, I did this again. I need to see all cameras. use this as reference. <laughs> 